Hello, hello, this is me, Trash Man, teaching you how to play a lot of Steam games with a GameCube controller. Obviously, you'll need the adapter too, which you can find for like $15, $20. You can also get a GameCube controller. You can even use it with an unofficial one, third party one. So, what you'll first want to do is get a thing called Delfino here. I'm just going to close out my Delfino just so you have a better thing here. So, what you want to do is uh, you want to go to this website, which I'll link down below in the description here and get delfinovin.zip. Click on this one, <coughs> and then open it in the file that you have it in, and then you just extract extract here. No to all. Um, yeah, once you once you extract it, then you'll get a file. But Sean said, probably make a file for its, I don't know if it makes a file for itself, but then you go in here, and then you have delfinovin.ui. And not .ui, just delfinovin UI. And then, you just you actually let me close that out real quick. Okay, then you open this, and then yeah, it should be detecting your movements on here. And then let me you can uh, create a custom profile, but do know you probably you do have to load it every time. I don't know if they're gonna make that better in the future. But also you can uh, like edit your stick range, your stick range, just in case you're only walking in a game, then you'll be able to run. Well, walk, rock, and run at full speed. So then next, if you're going to Elden Ring here, uh, you'll want to, you know, obviously check for properties uh, if if this is on. But also, uh, just a reminder that this auto connects to your thing, and you, I think, pretty sure you want this in. Uh, you want this in. Uh, <clears throat> in a uh, switch mode not switch mode wii u mode or wii mode i forget um but then you want to enable steam put input and you'll go here top left steam settings then you go down to controller and check general controller settings and i from what i've tested you only want one thing if you're having joy joy drivers showing up then you can actually just go to device manager uh and then you can find joy device and just get and just delete it. I already deleted it. Yeah. Well, I disabled it. You can just disable the device, then re-enable it whenever you want to. And then it'll give you, then it'll show your game people show as a 360 controller. So then you can hop in a game like, well, let's just say Elden Ring. And then, yeah, you're basically really good to just set up. Like this works in most games. I haven't tested all games like, I'm pretty sure this works in 70 today. Although you do have to, you do have to have your own preferences for buttons because some of these games you won't have enough. But that's fine with me. I'll I'll end this after I just show you that it works and all that with that with the buttons, which you know, probably from what I've tested and showed you yesterday, it does indeed work. And with a bit of adjustment in, you know, uh, threshold and all that, and dead zone, then you can definitely get like your character you know, it to feel like a normal experience just with the GameCube controller. So if you don't have, if you have like a spare GameCube controller, you don't have any PS5 controllers or PS4 controllers, which PS4 controllers are a bit buggy with being on PCs from my experience. Like, you know, then, yeah. So as you can see, I'm only walking here. Then we go to Denobin. Hold up. Uh, I okay, go to here and we edit. And we want to put this down to like maybe 80 or so. And then if we go back in here. Yep. Oh crap. Accidentally clicked. Yeah. Pretty sure this. Yeah, this is at full speed. So... See how fast this is? No blind spots here. Okay, let me turn down the range just a bit more. And then we go in here. You know, obviously just adjust it how, uh, however you like. Personally, I like this to be a bit. I think this will work. Hold up. No, no. You gotta have a low range if you want this to work well. So, turn that maybe down to like 71. Then, go to Elden Ring. And yeah, it's, yeah, you can walk at full speed. You can 
I got the jump button set to A. I've got use items set to X. I've even got interact set to Y. Then I got attack. Well, yeah, heavy attack set to this. And then then Z button is actually just my uh, special. Like that. And then this is my skill button. Which is just my left hand using. So, I hope you enjoy this, and I'm, please tell me if this works for you. If it doesn't, I might be able to find some other solutions. If I miss something, please do know. Thank you for watching, and I'm hoping that this works for you, and I'm hoping that you have a blast. Have a good night. See ya.